والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم جزاك الله خير سيستا مروا ذات من ذا يونايتد عرب امريتس Sheikh, we had a question from Sister Umm Jibril from Canada, all the way there in Canada, uh, asking a, a question about how to go about praising somebody, uh, some individual Islamically. And she's, she quoted uh, some hadith of the Prophet ﷺ about somebody throwing, I think, dust in the face of the one who praises. Um, how do we go about it? What's the Islamic way to praise somebody, Sheikh? I think we tackled this question last episode, uh, but uh, it is important as well to reiterate the answer. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam forbade us from praising somebody especially in his face Like I keep saying that Jameel is very intelligent, mm. is very smart, MashaAllah is very knowledgeable, etc. If you want to say, you say that I think so and Allah knows best And when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saw somebody was praising somebody in his face He said you just let his throat Because it gives him this feeling of pride or arrogance and this is very dangerous feeling, and this is very hidden virus that can destroy one's actions and one's deeds. As a matter of fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says, فَلَا تُزَكُّوا أَنفُسَكُمْ هُوَ أَعْلَمُ بِمَنِ اتَّقَى Don't you praise yourselves, don't you admire yourselves. Allah knows best, who is more righteous. And I said also, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud has a beautiful statement with this regard. He says, الْحَيْرُ لَا تُؤْمَنُ عَلَيْهِ الْفِتْنَةِ he said it in the course of advising whom to follow. He said, uh, if you would like to follow somebody other than the Prophet ﷺ in the same course of following the Sunnah and so on, then or the true scholars, then follow somebody who passed away. Do not give yourself up totally to somebody who is still alive. Because الْفِتْنَةِ As long as you and I are still alive, you never know what's going to happen to us. We're a subject of changing. We're a subject of fitna. Uh, subject of getting tempted in changing my uh, methodology, changing my attitude, changing uh, the way I approach people, changing the way I used to think of myself. Arrogance and show off is very hidden, and this is one of the things which Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam warned his companions against. He said, "A shirk al the hidden shirk." Associating others with Allah in a very hidden fashion Because it crawls to the heart without uh, you feeling it uh, When you start doing anything to please others So actually praising somebody in his presence and in his face Is one of the means which uh, ignites this feeling of showing off So it is best if you want to admire somebody uh, Say, نحسبه كذلك والله حسيبه Or we assume that he is good and Allah knows best